Good morning, good morning. And this morning I'd like to show you a hamstring stretch. It's called a three-way hamstring stretch using a stretch strap. It's my favorite way to stretch my hamstrings because it makes my legs feel super light. And I love that because sometimes after doing weights or when I'm rucking, if you don't know what rucking is, it's like urban walking um, with a rucksack. Um, sometimes when I'm doing that, my legs feel really heavy or just tight. So this is my favorite way to do hamstring stretching. If you don't know me and you're tuning in, my name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt. I am a doctor of physical therapy, a certified athletic trainer, and a fitness nutrition specialist. Um, what's really cool about the stretching is I do this with my patients passively um, or manually in my office and they love it, but they can't always do it at home because obviously I'm not with them. So they can use a strap or if you have a dog leash, you can use the end of the handle and just put it on your foot and then I actually just finished working out, so I still might be a little bit out of breath. But um, I love to do this. And what you're going to do is you're going to push your foot into the strap. And that, that makes your quad muscle work. So you're getting a nice quad um, muscle contraction. And if you're getting a quad muscle contraction, then your hamstrings should be relaxed. So when you push down and then pull up with your hands, your hamstrings are gonna be on slack and you get a better stretch. You only have to hold for about 10 seconds. This is called active isolated stretching. And then you're gonna push down and pull back up and hold 10 seconds again. And push down and pull back up. And you should try and go further each time. I like to keep the opposite knee bent because it keeps the back flat. So if you have back issues, it protects your back. You can bring that one back down, the opposite side down on the floor. That's uncomfortable for me because I've had some back issues. So the other thing I do is a three-way hamstring stretch. So this gets more of the general hamstrings. Now I'm gonna rotate my foot in, which rotates my hip in, and do the exact same thing. And so now I feel it more on the outside hamstring 10 seconds and then push down and pull back up. Hold 10 seconds and each time I'm trying to go a little bit further. Push down and pull back up. And then I'm gonna rotate my foot out because that's gonna get more of the inside hamstring. Push down, pull back up. And you'll feel this if you try this at home with a dog leash or I can put a link in on how to get a stretch strap. You can use a beach towel too, but no elastic bands because the elastic, you know, it won't let you stretch as well. And you're just doing the same thing and then pushing down and then pulling up with your hands. So you get a little bicep workout in there as well as a bonus. And then you're just gonna switch and do the same thing on the opposite side. So I already feel like this leg feels so different than this leg. So if I start that again, get my foot's in neutral, push down. Ooh, that one's tighter. So 10 seconds. And then push down and pull up. So one of the reasons I really like this is because when you are contracting by pushing down, is it makes that hamstring muscle relax more. So you just get a more effective stretch. It's a great stretch to do after a workout, but you could do this before a workout as well. The best time to do either this type of stretch or a static stretch is after. So a static stretch would be, you're only doing one of these. I'm gonna rotate my foot in. You're only doing one of these for 30 seconds. That would be a static stretch. That's different from active isolated stretching. So I think I've got one more on this side with my foot rotated in. I'm gonna switch and do the outside. 
So I usually recommend three of these. Again, you're pushing down, then pulling up for 10 seconds, and then pushing down. So it's three positions, three stretches each position, 10 second hold for each stretch. And there you have it, a three-way hamstring stretch that you can use with the stretch strap, or you can use a dog leash and just use the end of the dog leash. Obviously, if you have a retractable dog leash, I wouldn't recommend using that. I'd use a different one, or make sure you have it on tension so it doesn't like retract on you and then kind of jerk your muscle. But I hope that's helpful for anyone looking for one of the best hamstring stretches to do. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.